On this day above all days, we remember those Australian men and women who died or suffered in the great tragedy of war. Thank you. On this morning, on the morning of April the 25th, 1915, Australian and New Zealand troops landed under fire in Gallipoli. It was then, and in the violent campaign which followed, that the Anzac tradition was forged. The elements of that tradition have inspired and offered an enduring example of luck to later generations of Australians. Each year we pay homage to the, not only to those original Anzacs, but to all who served, died, or were disabled in the service of their country. They enrich our nation's history. Their hope was for the freedom of mankind, and we remember with pride their courage, their compassion, and their comradeship. They served on land, sea, and in the air, in many places throughout the world. We'd be remiss, remiss at this stage to not mention our latest Victoria Cross recipients. Remembrance Day is not a day to draw attention to any one person's service to the country, but I beg indulgence from you here today, primarily because it has taken almost 78 years for this young man's service to be fully recognised. I'll read out part of the naval citation for Edward Teddy Sheehan. Shortly before 1400, on the 1st of December 1942, HMAS Armadale, by then separated from HMAS Karoo, was attacked by no less than 13 aircraft. The Corvette manoeuvred frantically. At 15.15, a torpedo struck the port side and another hit the engineering spaces. Finally, a bomb, a bomb, a bomb struck up. As the vessel listed heavily in port, the order was given to abandon ship. The survivors leapt into the sea and were machine gunned by the Japanese by Japanese aircraft. Once he had helped to free a life raft, Sheehan scrambled back to his gun on the sinking ship. Although wounded in the chest and back, the 18-year-old sailor shot down one bomber and kept another aircraft another aircraft away from his comrades in the water. He was last seen firing his gun as Armadale slipped below the waves. Only 49 of the 149 men who had been on board survived the sinking and the ensuing days in their lifeboat. Sheen was mentioned in dispatches for his bravery and in 1999, HMAS Sheen, the Collins class submarine, was named after him. The only ship in the RAN to bear the name of the sailor. On the 12th of August 2020, the Australian Governor-General, His Excellency, Excellency, General the Honourable David Hurley, ACBSC retired, announced that Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II had approved a posthumous award of Victoria Cross to Ordinary Sheen and Sheen. In doing so, Ordinary Sheen and Sheen was the first Marine Corps Australian to be awarded Australia's highest honour for valour. We today honour the memory of all Australians who have fallen in battle who share the sorrow of those who have mourned them and of all those who have been the victim of armed conflict. On this day, we remember with sympathy those Australians who have suffered as prisoners of war and those who, because of war, have had their lives shortened or handicapped. May we and our successors prove worthy of their sacrifice.
Ladies and gentlemen, I now ask our captain, Reverend Joe Wood, to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Lord our God, help us this day to remember the sacrifice of those caught up in war and the generations of men, women and children who have died in the cause of liberty and peace. Help us to remember those who still bear the physical and mental scars and disabilities of their service. Help us to remember the widows, girlfriends, parents and orphans, and all those who waited in vain for the return of a lost one. Help us to remember the makeshift, agony, courage and compassion of your service that save us from ever glorifying the horror and the tragedy of war. Lord God, help us to remember. Amen. We pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will now ask you to read the prayers. The first one, obviously, is the Vice President of the Week on behalf of the RSL. Thank you, Greg.
what's happening, let them go by, keep close with the benefits of close. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us now and remain with us always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for attending, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our journey this morning. Obviously, it's been uh, pretty short.